All right. <laughs> Sit with them. Suggestive selling. Right here. Boom. Check the chat. Sit with them. Is that sitting with you guys so far? The sit with them glows. Okay. Me and Juju and Jared, we we pieced together a couple things last night. Um, okay. Sit with them. Sit with them. All right. So here's here's where it all this all starts with really, really good rapport. Okay. So the first step of this is you have to have a, a certain level of trust from the customer for this to happen. Um, so jot down great underline rapport. So at the beginning of your presentation, you have to build this level of trust that allows you at the end to say to your customer, hey, Mrs. Jones, is it okay if I share my opinion with you? And for them to want to say yes, okay? So really, really great rapport. Part of this is showing up and building great, great rapport with them as people. So knowing what they do, knowing what their spouse does, knowing what their kids are up to, actually caring, asking layers of questions like Juju always says, three layers of questions. Um, and the other part of it is really good cooking rapport. And some here are some of the powerful questions you have to ask in order to, for this to work, this sit with them close. And then we're going to, if we have some time at the end, which we I think we definitely will before phoning, is I want everyone to role play it with a partner in a breakout. Okay, so make sure you jot down enough, uh, enough notes on this to try it. So <clears throat> at the beginning, build great rapport, show them you care. That is really, really important. And if you're calling people that already know you, you already kind of have this, so that's bonus for you. So I'd say call the chick, if there's any time to call your chicken list, it is this morning, it is today, it is tomorrow. Um, and booking those people as soon as you can because they already trust you. So for this to work, trust. Got it? Second thing is the cooking report. Really in-depth cooking report at the beginning of the presentation. So it's, and then also streamlining it throughout the whole thing. But at the beginning of the presentation, especially, and it's saying, like Dane was talking about yesterday, this kind of builds off of what Dane was talking about with the um, options closing. It's suggesting cl suggestive closing. So um, the cooking report is, hey, Mrs. Jones, is it all right? Is it okay? Always ask for permission. Is it okay if I ask you a few questions about your guys' cooking situation, just so I can try my best and show you stuff you might care about? Okay, Mrs. Jones, is it all right if I ask you a few cooking questions just so I can try my best to show you stuff you might care about? Okay, cool. Well, Mrs. Jones, I'm so I'm curious, how many nights a week are you guys preparing dinner in your home? How many nights a week are you guys preparing dinner in your own house? What well, is it like a couple nights a week, most nights a week, or or every day you guys are putting something together? <clears throat> okay, like every day? Wow. Okay. That I mean, that's awesome. Um, on top of that, breakfasts and lunches as well. Breakfast and lunch as well, or is that at work? Depends on the day. Okay, so sounds like cooking almost every night and every other day or so you guys are putting together lunch and breakfast, yeah? Okay, uh, are kids at home? Well, actually, you should know this, right, from your rapport. Okay, sounds like the kids are off at school. Uh, you've got one left at home. Uh, does he kind of do his own thing or are you guys cooking for him too? Oh, he he leans on you as much as he possibly can for food. That's great. I did the same thing, of course. Okay, so cooking for three, seven days a week, sometimes multiple times a day. Uh, what what kind of what kind of knives do you guys have right now? What kind of knives do you guys have right now? Uh, we have Chicago cutlery. Honey, what are those knives? I don't know. We have a bunch of them, Alex. Oh, okay. Uh, you have the All-American set. That's what I like to say. Uh -huh. uh, okay, so you have a bunch of different knives. Um, how do you like them? Oh, you know, they do the job. Okay, what, what do you love about your knives? What do you love about your knives? And the whole time you're asking these questions, you guys, you have to be taking notes like you're in a college class. Like, okay, Mrs. Jones, what do you like about your knives again? 
blah, 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 blah. Here's the reality. Sometimes when you ask that question, your customer will hit you back with, um, hmm, I like that. I like the colors. Yeah, the colors are really nice. Oh, the colors. Okay, great. All right. You like the colors. That's okay. Got it. What else? And what you're trying to do is collect as much as you possibly can about the, their knife situation in a positive tone. It's almost like you're trying to build up the knives that they have. They're going to they're gonna come back at that with that their knives probably aren't that great. The other thing that they're going to do is when they're telling you about their knives, they're going to say things like, I, I love that. I only have, we only, sh I mean, honey, how often do we sharpen them? Once a year? Yeah, they're so they're really not that bad, right? And all of this is just ammunition for you. It's okay, all right. You love that you sharpen them once a year. Who does the sharpening? Mr. Jones. Okay, and Mr. Jones, you love that he sharpens them. I bet you, okay, that's great. You jot that down, okay? So <clears throat> there's not really, there's not a script for this either, but what you want, it, you, someone can make one for sure. But what you're trying to do is collect all this data about what when they're cooking, what they're cooking, who's doing the cooking, what are the knives that they have? What is their knife situation? How much do they enjoy it? Okay. And all this data that you're collecting, you're going to bring back into the presentation when you get to suggestive selling, when you sit with them. All right. So then you go from this rapport where you build this trust, trust that allows you to offer suggestions at the end. You go from this rapport to this cooking rapport where you are in data collection mode in a positive tone. What do you love about them, right? Those questions. Mrs. Jones, sounds like your knives aren't that bad, right? Yeah, no, okay, all right. Well, if you could build the perfect knife, Mr. and Mrs. Jones, the perfect knife. I know you've never been asked this question before, right? Yeah, right? You could build the perfect knife. What features would it have? So you need to think about that one. I bet that's a new question. <laughs> Okay, jot down, they'll tell you. Oh, I mean, uh, probably that it cuts like new every time or I don't know, I guess that it's comfortable, right? And then they're they're literally going to give you the definition of a Cutco knife. They're gonna describe a Cutco knife for you in 3D. Okay, then you transition, you do the demo, you ask, you get to the end, you ask for the order. And here's where all this comes back into play, all right? So this is the sit with them exercise. Uh, who wants to be my, who wants to be my uh, customer? Who wants to be my role play, my friend? Anybody? TB. All right. TB on the spotlight. Oh, and myself. <clears throat> All right. TB, here's what I want you to do. Be a customer that wants the Siggy, but is saying no for no reason. Okay. So like you just chose, the, I did the three set close, you chose the Siggy and you're at a, let's say eight out of 10 when I ask you, but you're still just saying no, okay? Has anyone had a customer like this before where they're clearly interested, they clearly want it and you just can't figure out why they're not saying yes? Anybody had that? Danny smirks because he doesn't have that happen. <laughs> okay, so uh, Tanner, sounds like the signature set. Would you like to go ahead and, uh, would you like to go ahead and get that today? What do you think? You know, Alex, just not right now. Okay. Not right now. Um, Tanner, is this just to make sure we're on the right set? Would you use all of these pieces right here? Um, yeah, I could see myself using most of those pieces. Yeah. Okay. So you get some practical use out of it. Um, what, so. what color of handles, the classic or the pearl do you like better? Uh, do those pearls ever get dirty? The pearls do not get dirty. Nope. My mom's had them for okay. 20 years. No. Well, what do you think, honey? The pearl? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The pearl. Okay. And what, what I'm doing, Tanner, is I'm just going to write this down for you so that I have it. Okay. Cause you said not right now. No worries. So you'd get practical use out of it. Uh, you like the pearl handles. What stain on the block? Would you go the darker or the honey oak? 
Um, I really like that honey. I think it, yeah, match up with my cabinets. Yeah. Cabinets, okay. Honey cabinets, also classic in my kitchen at home. <laughs> um, now, if you were to do it, not that you are, but if if you were to do this, Tanner, or you guys, I know your wife's in the room as well there. Would you guys split it up and use that reverse layaway, or would you just bite the bullet, do it all at once? I'd probably split it up. You said I can try it out, right? You get to 15 days, you get to use them, fall in love with them in your own kitchen, on your own time, for sure. That's the beauty of the re reverse layaway. Yeah? Okay. So you'd split it up. <clears throat> Sounds good. Um, now, just so we're also on the same page, Tanner, the signature set with steak knives, which is what you uh, said that you'd prefer here. Who Can someone throw for me in that chat? What's the five pay on a Siggy steak? I didn't have a... Okay, 45. So Tanner, just so we're on the same page here, uh, is the 485 for the signature set or the family set that we're looking at, is that something that you could squeeze in the budget today if you really, really wanted to? Yeah, I think I got some room on my credit card. Yeah. Okay. I just jot that down for you as well. Now, Tanner, my last question, let me just ask you this. On a scale of one to 10, okay, one meaning I'm never going to see you again, nine being you're like, you're pulling out the credit card. Where would you fall on a scale of one to 10 with this set today? Yeah, probably about an eight. An eight. Okay. I'm going to jot that down. So real, real, really quick, Tanner, since you're at an eight, okay, since you're at an eight, is it all right if I could just give you my my two cents on, on the situation. And I, I know I, I won't see you often. I know you weren't expecting to buy knives today. I would bet that I bet my life savings that you did not wake up this morning and say, all right, honey, today's the day. This is it. Today is the day that we are going to invest $2,000 into a set of high quality American made cutlery. We've been budgeting for this. We've been saving for this. This is it. Today is someday. Did that happen this morning? I can't say it did, Alex. No, I would expect not to. So here, here's what here's what I'd love to do for you, Tanner. Since I'm here right now and I'm in this massive contest to win Cabo, since you're at an eight, if I could do something just a little bit extra special for you and throw you a Hail Mary out of this world deal, is there a 1% chance that you just, you might go for it today? Hmm. I don't know. No, probably no. not. Okay. All right, guys, here's the sit with them. Ready? Here's the sit with them. Okay. Tanner, is it all right if... If we, if I do something with you really quick, just so I have a better understanding of the situation. Sure. Okay. Tanner, play this out with me, Mrs. Jones, Mr. Jones here. I'm going to pretend like we're not looking at each other. Let's pretend we're sitting next to each other. Will you do that yeah. with me? Yep. Yeah. My okay. Face. Yeah. That, yeah, that's good. So right. Tanner here, right. here's us. Okay. Here, here we are. And we're just looking out. Let's pretend we're on a park bench together, Tanner. Okay. Here's me. I'm I'm brand new Cutco sales rep. Been doing this for two years or so, and in my two years of selling Cutco Tanner, I've had I've had three different types of customers. Okay, I've had people that we hop on the Zoom and they say, "Yep, I want to do it," and they buy it, and I say, "Oh, okay." And then a month, two month, three month, a year, two years later, they say, "Tanner, those knives were the best dang investment I ever made." And it every time it validates, yeah, this stuff is awesome. That's why I keep selling it. The, the second type of customer, Tanner, is somebody that in the moment they say, yeah, I don't, I don't think this is going to be for us, but they end up pulling the trigger or for us today, I should say, but they end up pulling the trigger because they want to help me hit my goals. And then a month, two months, three months, a year, two years later, they say, Tanner, I am so glad I bought those knives from you. A lot of them buy more. And again, it validates like this stuff is awesome. Okay. 
Tanner, I've also had people. Are you still playing along? We're looking out into the field of, yeah, okay. I've also had people down here that have said, ah, you know what, Tanner, I, I don't think we're going to pull the trigger today. Even though they were in a situation where they, they were using junky knives, they had the All-American set, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of everything. They were struggling with them, sharpening them once once a month, once a year, not having a ton of fun cooking every single day. They could squeeze it in the budget and they weren't, I don't know if they were aware, Cutco goes up in price, it's going up again in February, but they ended up not pulling the trigger. And then a month, two months, three months, six months, a year, two years later, they're still using the junk knives, still not enjoying their kitchen experience as much as they could. And I always just wonder what what was stopping them from just just biting the bullet and pulling the trigger. So, Tanner, I guess this situation you you'd be down here, right? Based on what I'm hearing, right? And I'm also hearing you'd be excited about the set. You'd get practical use out of the pieces. So I guess if if we're still sitting together, we're sitting here. I'm just wondering what what it is and I, i'm just trying to understand so tanner would would you be okay with me throwing a suggestion at you something that might be a little easier yeah let's hear it okay so tanner what what we've been talking about is the sig the family set with steak knives and you you could bite the bullet you could go for it you could get it uh, for you, it you know, it sounds like you could squeeze it in the budget. The thing is, Tanner, I don't want you to break the bank to buy Cutco. But I still, I would love for you to get Cutco. So what what I'm thinking, what I would almost suggest for you is no, no need to get the family set today. You could start with the basic set of Cutco, okay? And what I'd be willing to do for you, Tanner, because it helps me hit my hit my trip to Cabo. And there's no monetary value that I could put on my trip to Cabo. There, there's going to be awesome people there. It's going to be, I've, you know, I've never been to Mexico. I've never been out of the country, da, yada, yada. So what I'd be willing to do is if you put the basic set on the reverse layaway, you get most of those pieces. I'd personally buy you that cheese knife and that small baby chopper. So you'd almost be like almost getting the family set. And later on down the road, we could upgrade you to the steak knives. We could add those other pieces. And instead of four eighty five today, the basic set would be two eighty six before tax. And I'd personally buy you over two hundred dollars a Cutco of those two cooler pieces from the family set. What What do you think about that, Tanner? Yeah, let's do it. Why not? Let's go. Tanner, you're going to love it. You are going to love your Cutco. Okay. Before I write that up, did I tell you about Cutco cookware? Our pots and pans are forks and spoons. No, I'm just kidding. Wow. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Thank you, Tanner. Everybody give Tanner a round of applause for me and Mr. Jones right there. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. We have, we have eight minutes. So here's what I want you. Here's what I want everyone to do is I'm going to just random throw a breakout really quick. And let's see, you can go in the breakout and one, only one person will have time to, uh, but play it out as if you're doing the sit with me. Okay. So do the sit with me and managers, I'm going to try to make this. Okay. It looks like it's going to be like groups of three, but one, one person play it out. One person watch, take notes, and then one person do the Hey, Mrs. Jones, uh, or Mr. Jones, is it all right if can we can we play something out really quick? That's how I'd start. Can we play something out really quick, and then do the thing where it's hey, imagine if instead of us sitting with each, sitting looking at each other, we're, we're with each other, and let's just let's just play this scenario out. I, I've had I've had three different types of customers, and then just explaining them. Okay, whoever is the most veteran in the group, you could go first. Does that sound good? All right, here's random breakouts. I don't know who's in each one. Good luck. One person do it. 